from uh, I'm not actually all that sure where this guy is from um, typically we'd expect him to be from uh, Namibia being uh, from a South African collection yet the matrix doesn't quite look like the basalt of the Gebobo Sepp or the Brandberg what we have here is a solid section of pre night crystals growing right across this uh, uh, whole front here now um, there doesn't seem to be any other association with the pre -nut. Of course, uh, pre are zeolite minerals, perhaps a bit of calcite or quartz sitting inside there. So I'm going to have a look at the, the uh, provenance of this guy. Um, lovely beyond a hand size, so it's quite a large piece. You'll see the, the weight is quite, quite heavy, although there's not all that much matrix, just this section. From a display point of view, we could have it going on a turntable around like this. Going around like that, and of course the fruity section would be this with these rather large, uh, uh, well-formed pre night crystals sitting here, a pale, pale green. Uh, looking from the top down, we have this effect going around like that, crystallization right across. You see little, it's almost little blades of the pre night which are compacted together, in uh, which form almost what appears to be cartwheels. Uh, we could display it this way around as well. I think this is actually the most appealing, going around like this. All the way from we not quite sure where, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a good run at this one. Please note that, uh, especially with the international material, if I, if I lose the track on the ID's a little bit, assistance is much appreciated.